Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianTheRussian.com. We continue our conversation about Russian verbs ending in it. As you know, the majority of them refer to the second conjugation. Today we will talk about consonant alternations that occur in some verbs ending in it. These stem changes happen in one form only, in the first person singular, the pronoun ya, I. In other forms, the verbs of the second conjugation use the same stem that in the infinitive. Let's start from the verbs that have a stem ending in a labial consonant. Label means that this consonant is pronounced with lips b, p. V, F, M. These are labial consonants. The common rule is the following. If the verb ends in bit, bit, vit, or meet, in the first person singular, we should add the letter L before the ending. In other forms, we change nothing. For example, любить – to love. Я люблю – I love. After the sound b, we add l. Я люблю. But ты любишь, you love. Here we change nothing. Ты любишь. Он, она, оно любит. Мы любим. Вы любите. Они любят. Купить, to buy. This one is perfective. Я куплю, I will buy. Here we add l after the sound p. But ты купишь, you will buy. Here we change nothing. Ты купишь. Он, она, оно купит. Мы купим. Вы купите. Они купят. Готовить. To prepare. To cook. Я готовлю. Ты готовишь. Он, она, оно готовит. Мы готовим. Вы готовите. Они готовят. Кормить – to feed. Я кормлю, ты кормишь, он, она, оно кормит, мы кормим, вы кормите, они кормят. In the same manner, we can conjugate the reflexive verb становиться to become, the imperfective pair for the verb стать. Я становлюсь, ты становишься, он, она, оно становится, мы становимся, вы становитесь, они становятся. If the verb ends in sit or zit, in the first person singular, we should replace s and z with sh and z respectively. For example, просить, to beg, to ask. Я прошу, but... Ты просишь, он, она, оно просит, мы просим, вы просите, они просят. Возить, to carry by vehicle. Я вожу, but ты возишь, он, она, оно возит, мы возим, вы возите, они возят. If the verb ends in tit, in the first person singular, we should replace the t with ch. For example, Платить – to pay. Я плачу. Ты платишь. Он, она, оно платит. Мы платим. Вы платите. Они платят. The majority of verbs ending in tit are conjugated in the same way. But in Russian language, there is a small number of verbs of Church Slavonic origin that have a different consonant alternation in the first person singular. Almost all of them are perfective, and the t in such verbs is replaced with sh and not with ch. For example, запретить – to forbid. Я запрещу – I will forbid. Ты запретишь – you will forbid. Он, она, оно запретит – мы запретим. Вы запретите – они запретят. None of these verbs have variable stress. The most used of them are the following. Обратить. This verb is often used in the expression обратить внимание, to pay attention. Посвятить, to devote, to dedicate. Превратить, to turn into something. 
прекратить, to stop, to cease, защитить, to defend, to protect, посетить, to visit, and some other ones. You can find the full list of them on my website, the link is in the description. And now let's talk about the verbs ending in stit. In such verbs, the group st is replaced with sh in the first person singular. For example, простить – to forgive. Я прощу – I will forgive. Ты простишь – you will forgive. Он, она, оно простит – мы простим. Вы простите – они простят. The majority of verbs ending in stit are perfective. And the last group for today – the verbs ending in dit. Here we should replace the d with ж in the first person singular. For example, ходить – to go, to walk. Я хожу, ты ходишь, он, она, оно ходит, мы ходим, вы ходите, они ходят. Well, now you know all about consonant alternations in Russian verbs of the second conjugation. If you want some practice, try to conjugate the verbs that I published on my website. The link is in the description. In Russian language, there is a small number of verbs ending in it that refer to the first conjugation and don't follow the above-mentioned rules. We will talk about them in our next lesson, so stay with us. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next video.